I'm making a series of um, videos uh, that require uh, installation of uh, Windows Server 2012 RT so um, I'm just going to quickly go through a basic setup of Windows 2012 RT um, the way I like it to be set up uh, so that when you follow my videos um, in my videos this is how it's going to be set up so let's uh, get to it first step is to actually get Windows 2012 R2 um, so we'll be downloading an evaluation version uh, first link by deploy try evaluate Windows Server 2012 R2 get started select version I'll be choosing the data center ISO since I'll be using um, the ISO to um, to start my virtual machine and do the installation in a virtual machine you'll need to sign in with your passport um, your hotmail account usually works and then I think it's going to ask you some basic questions regarding yourself so uh, you can uh, fill out these forms as uh, with your personal information or not I mean you could enter probably bogus information it'll still work I won't subscribe to anything um, yes I would not like to hear from Microsoft or from Microsoft partners so these are unchecked continue uh, English in which language would you like Windows Server English for sure continue and there it's uh, started the installation uh, downloading initialization where I want to save uh, my ISO I'll hit save now one step that is I'm that I'm not showing here since I've already done and it won't let me do it again is um, the uh, download and installation of a particular file I'm just gonna show you that it is uh, called my downloader installer and um, here let me just uh, okay so this is the file my downloader installer so you will double click this file before the step uh, where the actual uh, window pops up and asking you where to save it double click this file install it and once this installs you'll it'll show you the download progress and uh, do the installation in uh, in your browser so that's the only installation I, um, I wanted to uh, that that's the uh, installation you need to do before the download actually starts in uh, your browser so once this has started this is going to be a while since it's a huge file I already have it downloaded um, I'm gonna stop the video and uh, bring my virtual machine online with this exact particular file um, that we're gonna load up in the uh, in the virtual machine settings uh, in the, the CD-ROM settings of the virtual machine alright so I'm stopping this video I'll put my file over here and we'll continue from there alright so I'll assume this download has completed and you have the ISO file sitting on your computer somewhere uh, let's uh, go through with the installation of um, of Windows Server 2012 R2 uh, I will install Microsoft Windows Windows Server 2012 next I'll just change add the R2 at the end next already exists hmm. I might have done this before so R2 basic basic installation next I'll give it all my cores speeds things up uh, minimum requirement is 4096 for a lot of labs that I'm going to be doing uh, I'll give it 5 gigs because I know in one particular uh, video I will need 5 gigs of RAM but I can increase it later so you know what Be, let's stick to the basics 4096 use bridge networking this allows uh, my virtual machine to access my real network I'll leave everything else at the defaults create a new virtual disk I think recommended uh, size for Windows Server 2012 is 60 gigs so we'll leave it at that and store virtual machine uh, virtual disk as a single file this increases the performance uh, next customize hardware 
now we're here again I'm not going to be using any USB devices to attach to my host uh, to my virtual machine so I'll remove that I won't be needing any sound card I'll remove that I won't be needing any printer I'll remove that I can add these uh, back in if I ever need them later on uh, only thing uh, over here is uh, go to CD-ROM new CD DVD drive uh, use ISO browse over to where you downloaded the Windows Server 2012 R2 um, ISO file now uh, one thing is uh, over here the file that you download will be named this I just um, added on this part to the file since this makes it easier to locate the file this really does not so um, that's why if your file name is different than what I have on screen is because I have manually edited the name of the file and added this part myself so anyway let's choose this file open um, and let's uh, boot it up uh, power on this uh, virtual machine the screen is slightly cut off um, hmm, how do I fix this since um, this okay I mean the relevant part is being is being uh, caught on tape. I'm in Canada. Next, install. Let me see if I can uh, if I can remove. No, that doesn't work. Okay. Um. Yeah, the relevant parts are being shown, but I would still like to show you guys at the bottom part. So I'll choose data center evaluation with a GUI, and um, since most of the things that I'm going to be doing using um, this installation of Server 2012 R2, it will require a GUI um, um, for me to show you exactly what's going on. Next. I accept and next custom install windows choose the hard drive that you just uh, created in uh, the VMware workstation uh, um, settings uh, next and it'll start so I'll pause the video right now I'll let it go through the installation uh, until then I'm also going to figure out if there's any way where I can make the recording dimensions bigger or move this uh, workstation window so that it fits um, and shows you all that is being installed uh, or, or shown in this uh, console window of VMware workstation so I'm gonna pause the video now figured out a fairly simple way of doing it uh, I could just resize it using that handle over there and once I do resize it, resize it so you guys can see I can just scroll up and down here and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so restarting. Let's uh, assist it on its restart. Restart now. All right. So let's install. Let's uh, enter a password the administrative account and hit finish that was it that's done fairly simple let's sign in that was a pretty quick installation of Windows first question it asks you after the installation is do you want to find PCs devices and content on this network and automatically connect to devices like printers and TV recommend you do this on your home and network networks uh, I'm going to be setting up everything manually so I'll do a no here and the first thing I'm going to be do doing is a d an installation of uh, the VMware tools it'll make uh, my usage of um, Windows Server 2012 uh, a little easier on uh, VMware Workstation. So I've finished installing and uh, let's go to VM and install VMware tools. There. 
in the top right corner you'll see usually whenever you add uh, there DVD drive whenever you put something in the DVD ROM drive Windows uh, 2012 R2 shows so in the top right corner disappeared all right so let's go to uh, start this PC and double click the D drive it'll start the VMware tools installation scroll down next typical complete I usually use complete gives me uh, if you were doing this uh, gives me a chance to uh, um, do a migration to uh, an ESXi host later on so I'll do a full installation of VMware tools let me resize it again and see VMware tools when I resized it it automatically Wow, that's amazing. It automatically fit. There's no more scrolling. It automatically fits, uh, fit the uh, uh, Windows Server 2012 screen onto my resized screen. Let me see if I do this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I'll hit finish. I think it's going to restart. Yes, I'm going to let it restart. Let's sign in. Now the first thing you're going to be uh, doing after the installation of uh, Windows Server is to change your IP uh, to a static IP address. Um, so I'll just uh, do that. Google's uh, DNS servers. Once we set up Active Directory and a DNS server on this computer, uh, I'm going to be changing this so that it points back to itself. But right now we haven't done that, so I'll just use uh, uh, DNS uh, servers of Google. And in um, IPv6, I want everything to be obtained automatically. I have set up my uh, router um, for. Uh, uh, to do the proper router advertisements for um, uh, stateless uh, auto configuration uh, stateless DHCP and that's what I'd like to use um, you can watch my video on uh, how to set up IPv6 uh, uh, with uh, stateless uh, DHCP uh, to, f to uh, properly uh, ha to have the proper parameters set up so that uh, any uh, host requiring uh, IPv6 uh, parameters will get them automatically from your stateless DHCP server so that done next thing is rename your PC uh, by default it does some um, random names but we don't want any random names let's go to properties yeah see here win blah 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 so let's change settings change and let's call it um, first Windows Server 2012 R2 okay yes it'll ask a restart let it restart all right so uh that's it guys that's a basic installation of uh, Windows Server 2012 oh one more command that I need to enter and that uh, relates to IPv6 is um, by default I think all Windows boxes um, assign uh, the stateless uh, auto configuration address using some sort of randomization um, in that that it does not follow the physical address uh, um, uh, the the um, address uh, assignment does not follow the MAC address 
you'll see instead of having the 2061 it's uh, having 4814 and the command to disable that um, is a net sh uh, command we can enter it uh, uh, using any shell and I'll just pause the video and I'll quickly pull up the command I don't remember it off the top of my head I'll just be back alright so the command is I'll paste it here that's the command net net sh interface ipv6 set global randomize identifiers equals disabled so it's not going to randomize our identifier which I think is our MAC address so when I hit enter uh, let me pull this up uh, you see it says 4814 when I hit enter and close and reshow this view when I click details you'll see that uh, this IPv6 address will change to reflect something based on our MAC address so let's do that administrator there okay so uh, that went through close with some trouble that went through details and there we go 2061 so I think now I've set up everything like I'd like it to be in uh, the installation of Windows Server 2012 um, you can also run uh, updates Windows updates um, uh, but uh, I won't show you how to do that that is uh, super silly just go to uh, properties and windows update turn on automatic updates sure or I just hit uh, check for updates is gonna I think you have to uh, configure uh, automatic updates for it to even check for updates but that's it guys so just check for whatever updates there are since this is uh, an evaluation version of um, of uh, Windows Server 2012 um, everything should be kosher and you should be able to get everything that is available from Microsoft uh, for uh, the evaluation uh, for the Windows Server 2012 uh, R2 data center edition that we have installed uh, I hope you guys uh, like this video and um, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, hit uh, the like button on this video if you like this video alright guys bye